Hey guys, today uh, I have another Zoltac uh, mini PC with uh, two Ethernet cards and this one is a 4 core, 4 gig and does support the uh, AES uh, new instruction set that uh, PFSense 2.5 will require. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the uh, version 2.4 on this and see if it recognizes all the hardware and uh, see if it actually works. Okay, so we're going to boot off the uh, USB key, which is the Kingston Data Traveler. Yeah, I'm just going to let it boot on its own. So this is the, uh, the setup portion. Now, before changing the uh, BIOS settings, it, it would get stuck on certain areas and it would freeze but after the changes it looks like we can go through a full install and it's actually installing pretty quick okay so there's a new uh, I guess welcome screen or scare screen, however you want to interpret it. Um, we'll just hit accept and hit the default settings. Again, I'll, we're going to accept all the default settings and we're going to install on the M.2 drive that's already inside this unit. And use the entire disk, yes. And finish. Yeah, commit. And we don't need to make any final modifications. We're going to hit no. And uh, we're going to hit reboot. I'm just going to yank out the USB drive. So now it's uh, booting for the first time off the uh, SSD drive. Okay, we're not going to set up VLANs, but we are going to assign the interfaces. And we even hear the uh, little PFSense uh, startup tune. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot just to show that it actually comes back up. And we have the tune again that tells us it's uh, rebooting or shutting down. And this is the uh, new login screen for PFSense. I like it. Looks pretty good. So I'm logging in with the defaults admin PF sense. And we're going to go through the wizard. Yeah. 
I'm just going to put the uh, Google DNS servers here. I'm just going to leave the uh, time zone info alone. It's just uh, All right, we're going to accept that. And if we look here, we see the AES-NI for the crypto, and it says yes here. So it is supported. And I'm going to enable the thermal sensors. And let's choose this. And if we look now, we can see that it says yes, active. That's good. And it supports all this. Great. So what I'm gonna do is add the thermal sensors applet. So this shows us the temperature for all our cores. So everything looks good, except that not everything is detected. If we go into the uh, interfaces and look what's detected it only detects the uh, onboard NIC cards it doesn't detect the uh, wireless uh, so there's no support for the wireless with this so if you're going to try and use this as a pfSense router and are expecting to use the wireless it doesn't detect it you might need to put a different wireless card in there and it, it might be something that will be supported in the future but for now it, it doesn't look like it comes up uh, since I've had this installed, I've, I've let the uh, router running for about uh, four days and 20 hours here. And during that time, there's actually been an update released. Uh, 2.4.2 is available. So I'm actually going to start uh, doing an update and uh, see if it recovers from it. Uh, so let's hope everything works well. Confirm. Now this looks like it's actually uh, downloading uh, everything pretty quick. Okay, so it looks like everything uh, completed successfully. It's going to reboot, it says in 10 seconds. And it's actually rebooting right now. And looking at the uh, console screen, it looks like it's uh, halfway through. All right, and looks well like we're back. Uh, so I'm gonna log in. And again, we get the uh, not so friendly uh, PF sense uh, copyright notice and so on. Guess we need to accept this with every uh, minor update. And so everything looks good. Um, so let's just uh, end it here.